if you guys are Flutter developers, we all know that building eye-catching apps is nothing easy, mainly because we guys are developers and not designers, right? So here on this video, I'm bringing to you guys a solution to that problem, which is the sponsor of today's video, Envato Marketplace. So my overall goal here will be to show you guys how easy it is to implement Flutter UI kits from Envato into your project. And if you're a solo developer as I am, show you the amount of time that you will save by doing so. Code that would take you months to build, you can get that up and running in a matter of minutes. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get straight to it. hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel and happy new year for all of you guys by the end of this video you are going to have this app you're seeing on the screen which is a salon booking app this is the first video on our series building your app where you guys are going to send me emails and comment on my videos asking me to build a specific type of app and i'll try to do that on this series because I, I want to implement both the front end and the back end logic of the apps this series is going to be a bit long so all of the projects are going to have two videos one for the for the front end and the second one for the back end i got this request from stamir i guess it's pronounced like that he sent me an email asking me to build a saloon booking app appointment app and then integrate firebase and stripe or another ways of payment into the app and this is what we are going to do on this particular project again this is the part one only the ui and the for the second part we are going to do the back end and business logic integration of the application i hope you guys are excited because i am excited let's get started hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel again and if you're new here welcome to the channel as i told you guys building this type of projects mainly having the ui and the back end part of the projects takes a lot of time usually it takes months and it requires a team of developers to build but i'm trying to do everything alone for you guys so i went ahead and got me some help basically i found a way of having the ui part done and then worrying on the back end section of the code only and here i am about to present you guys something i call a cheat code of a kind for this series and the remaining videos to come i used something called code canyon or envato Actually, if you're a Flutter developer or a developer in general and you're not using this, you're missing out big time. We have this, they have this called uh, Pro Kit for Flutter and they have, I guess, it's like 11 apps already built and a bunch of themes, a bunch of widgets, and a lot, a lot of things that you can just grab and add them to your project. So what I did is I I will create a project here, the booking saloon app, and I'll grab some code, some components already done on my on my package here from Code Canyon and add that into my app. And it takes like minutes to have a full fledged app in terms of the UI only. And then after having my app done, uh, on the UI side of things, I am going to start developing the back end for the app. So basically all of these images that you are seeing on the screen now are apps and components that are included in this package, right? Even if you're not trying to build a booking app the way we are doing here for any kind of app that you are trying to do, this is going to save you a lot, a lot of time. And trust me when I say that right you can go ahead to code canyon and search for flutter pro kit or you can just use the link in the description to get a sweet deal on that and uh, you don't have to worry the code for this video 
will be on 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 git but i would highly recommend you guys to go and check this out because this is going to save your life here i'll show you how to get the code and set everything up for this particular project and start working on our salon booking app so guys if you actually go ahead and purchase the package from code canyon um this is what you're going to get you're going to have a downloadable file here right and you can just click on download and when it's done you're going to get this zip file here you just have to open that and extract actually the contents of of the file um i'm using winrar so i'll use that to extract and uh, here you just have to pick a directory where you want to extract the folder to and it, com it depends on you actually it doesn't matter where you extract this to for my particular case i will extract this to my local drive d so here i have local drive d let me extract this here So here I have it and now I can open this again because we have another file here and the documentation. And here on the documentation you'll have actually everything you need to know on how to use this package, the pro kit. And you have everything from how you have to set up your Flutter. Obviously you have to have Flutter installed and how to build and run the projects and all of that is going to be included in the file and you're going to get that in the documentation so make sure you read the documentation and you can even get youtube videos if you just want to watch don't do not want to read that which is fine and now what we are going to do is actually I will extract this zip file now to my project folder and I have it here on my projects and here you have a list of projects right and all of that right we have themes projects widgets all of that all of these projects are basically complete projects in terms of UI. I can't stress to you guys how amazing this thing is. Uh, let's view that from Android Studio. You can just open the project from Android Studio. And uh, the first time you do this, you're going to have a lot of errors because you would have to import all of these dependencies and all of this packages right so don't worry about this now guys the remaining process is quite straightforward here you'll go ahead and create a different flutter project and now we are going to check the ui kit we downloaded from code canyon for our case we need to extract a project called hair saloon but if you're building a different project, you could go ahead and extract any of the projects or different themes that they have there, right? So what I will do here is basically uh, get the hair salon code from our UI kit here and extract that to my booking salon app, right? Uh, that will fix or get the UI part of our project done and then we'll start concerning ourselves with the back-end implementation of the project, right? Uh, if you need a, a detailed video on how to extract the project from there to your, to your local directory, it's super straightforward and simple. The first or second link in the description will be to that YouTube video. You can go ahead and check that. I didn't want to add it here to add that section here because it would make this video a bit longer than it has to be. And uh, we already have a YouTube, a YouTube video explaining how to do that. So 
there's no need for me to do that again so if you want to know how to extract that project or a different one you can go and click the link in the description check that video extract your project and have your ui aspect of the project working for this section here for this video i mean we we are going now to connect everything to firebase and start creating our providers and just showing you guys how easy it is to add your custom code to the ui kit you just got from code canyon so now that we have the ui part out of the way we can start working on our back end which is connecting our app to firebase here we are going to create our firebase project we did this countless times so i'm assuming you guys already know how to do that basically what we were doing there is creating our um firebase project on firebase i'll just open up visor to see if it's possible for me to display what we have on the app side as we are connecting everything to firebase as well here on firebase our project was created we have here hair salon project and now what we want to do is connecting this to our app good we just have to enable authentication and uh, enable email and password sign in which is good enough now we go ahead here and go to our project we can just go close this we can go here to android source main and on our manifest file we're going to get the package name paste it here give it a name here and just hit next uh, we need to download our Google services.json file. And we have it here on downloads. Copy this and paste that into our project here. And if you can see here, you can still work on the the the, the project you just got from Code Canyon as if it was it is a project you just built. So there is no complications whatsoever. so come here we need to add this dependency here add few lines here to our build gradle and uh, add these two lines and we, we will be done with this just need to add the last one which is this one and um, hit next we are good to go now we can go ahead and um, start importing some firebase plugins because we're going to use starting with firebase core just go to install and copy this plugin here and paste that into our project and then another pl firebase plugin for our authentication sweet and the final plugin is going to deal with cloud firestore Copy this and we are good. Sorry for that. Here we have what we needed. We can add a new folder. Oh, that's a file. We can add a new folder called helpers. And these folders are now concerned with the back end aspect of our project.
good. Here we need to add our Google Maps. Here we have it. Uh, actually, it's not this one. Is it? No, it's not. It has to be flatter Google Maps. Yeah, this one is the right one. And here we have the implementation. Because remember, if it's a booking app, we want to be able to find the salons near the user. So obviously we need some location services there. So copy this paste it over here and uh, remember to have your Google Maps API key you just have to Google for Google Maps API key and they may ask you for your credit card details and you you have to give them but they are not going to charge you at the beginning they just need that so that you can get your Google Maps API key because I'm not going to add mine to this project. Right. Uh, again, I'm starting to work here with the back end, as you guys can see. But that's not the goal. I'm just giving it a start just to show you guys how easy it is. We are going to add our providers package here. Come here, provider, and add that. Create a new file into our provider package, which is going to be app provider. And another one, our auth provider that's going to deal with user authentication.